I'm Steve Ellis Brigham, this is Mark, and we are here to talk about the Black Crows Cactus. So first thing, we're going to hear from Black Crows about some of the tech details. Uh, so we have the Captis. Captis is a ski which is 90 underfoot. It's the narrowest ski in the all mountain category, uh, but essentially it's designed to be skied uh, in a resort environment. So somebody who is based in resort uh, wants to use all the features in resort, natural features, just to ski and have fun and play on. Um, in terms of the ski itself, it uh, has a traditional camber underfoot, it has a tip and tail rocker, uh, and I guess you could class it as an all mountain twin tip. It's not a true twin, um, so the uh, rocker profile and the camber and the mountain point are set slightly back, so it just gives you a little bit more versatility to ski around the mountain, um, but its roots are very much, uh, and DNA are very much within the freestyle um, style of ski. Um, great for somebody who just wants, as I said, that resort based ski, just wants to have fun. It's a moderate flex to the ski as well, so it turns nicely, it carves really, really well. For somebody who just wants that nice entry ski with our, on a slightly wider platform, a little bit of a freestyle feel to it, um, perfect ski. So how does it feel? Well, first thing you want to know about Black Rose is that they're not one of the big boys, they're not one of the major brands, but they're fast approaching that. They're probably like the hot brand right now, uh, and they just seem to be getting everything right with their skis. They tend to make skis on the slightly stiffer side, um, but maybe the cactus doesn't quite fall into that because there's no metal here. This is um, it's a wood ski, wood fiberglass sidewall. So it's quite a traditional construction, but it's got a nice shape to it and it's got a really good build. So what we're getting is a ski that, it's an all mountain ski, take it anywhere. But for a ski with no metal, it's on the stiffer side of the wood skis puts it into a really nice category. So it keeps it playful, um, keeps it really versatile. So if you're skiing it on broom snow, it's just nice and cruisy. You can get it turning, it feels quite poppy through the turns. Get it into trickier snow, and the fact that there's no metal in there just keeps it a little bit more forgiving. So unless you're a real hard charger, there's a lot you can get out of this ski. And I think it's a ski that's probably suited to a lot of British skiers. Um, Mark, you know, what did you think when you were skiing it? Um, so I can't really comment on how it skied on like piste or really firm conditions, but I did take it into some soft conditions. Um, it was a bit chopped up. Um, super playful, really fun, nice and agile too. I think just having or not having the metal in it allows it just to, to be a little bit more maneuverable, a little bit less weight, um, you know, a slightly softer flex. So if you are kind of finding yourself in a slightly trickier spot, it's super easy to jump turn round. Um, but it's happy in soft conditions. Um, really fun, floaty, surfy. I mean, you may look at it and think it's a twin tip, but for me, this is this is all mountain for sure. Yeah, definitely. I mean, if I was, didn't know where I was going, didn't know what the conditions were, um, and I wanted to ski a bit of everything, then this is probably one of the skis on my very short list for what I would take because it'll do everything for me uh, and I'll be happy. So if you skied it and you've got some comments, write them below please, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, if you've got any questions, please ask and we will come back to you. Otherwise, thank you for listening. <laughs>